So we've got a lot to cover in this tutorial. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can finish within 10 minutes, but I'm not making any promises. Feel free to fast forward at any given moment if you happen to get bored. So last time we found the present value of our note by finding the present value of the single sum uh, face value and also the present value of the annuity or the interest payments. And altogether, the present value of that note was $81,508.48. So the face value was 100,000, the present value was 81,508, and the difference is the discount. And the discount, the discount is going to be amortized over the one, two, three, four, five, six years. So the discount is gonna be amortized over these six years. And we'll go about figuring out how to amortize that discount by looking at an amortization table and going through it step by step. So first up, I'm gonna pop up this amortization schedule and we'll go about filling it out. So. The first thing is that we issued this note on, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna say now that we issued it on January 1st, 2015. So I'm gonna say day is the first, the month is the first, and the year is 2015. So how much cash did we receive in this, at this point right here. Well, we receive none because no time has passed and we receive interest at the end of the year. So we're only gonna be reporting the carrying value right now, which is $81,508.48. Now, the next one, we're gonna be reporting at the 31st of December of 2015. So now one year has passed. We have uh, gone one year over and we get to receive our coupon or our 4%. So 4% multiplied by 100,000 is gonna be 4,000. So we're receiving $4,000 in cash. And the amount of interest is actually gonna be constant for all the years. So I'm just gonna draw a long arrow going down this column. Next, we need to find out how much interest we've actually earned because we've received $4,000 of cash, but that might not be all of the interest that we've earned. To find the interest that we've earned, we're gonna multiply the carrying value by 8% or the market rate, which is stated here. And I'll give you a brief explanation as to why. Uh, so if you remember, we, we got the present value by discounting the cash flows, and we discounted all those cash flows using the market rate, which was 8%. So if you remember, we went something like that, we discounted that interest payment, then that interest payment, then that interest payment, and so on. So we went step by step. So you can think of when we're recognizing the interest, we're kind of like reverse discounting it. So we're gonna use the discount rate which is the 8%, and we're gonna multiply it by the carrying value to get the interest income. So 8% multiplied by 81,548 cents is going to be 6,520 and 68 cents. And I'm not just a genius, I have it all written down on paper. And the difference between the interest income and the cash received is going to be the amount of the discount that is amortized in this first year. So the difference is 2,500, 20 and 68 cents. And the carrying value is just going to be the carrying value from the last year added with the, added with the amount of the discount that is amortized. So 81,000 plus the 2,500, which is 84,029 and 16 Sense. So we've done the first year, and I, I guess I, I wanted to explain something really quickly about the interest income. Uh, you might think that $4,000 is the only interest you received, but there also is a certain amount of interest that we've earned that is actually being capitalized to the note. And that might not make so much sense, it's not too clear, but 
think about this. At the beginning, we have $81,000. That's the value of the note. At the end of six years, we're not receiving $81,500. We're receiving $100,000. So some of that interest is being capitalized as we move throughout the terms. And we'll be receiving some of that interest in the form of the $100,000 being returned to us. And that is the discount that we're amortizing. So let's go through the next part. Uh, I want to go through this pretty quickly. So 31st, 12, 5, or not 15, but 16, 4,000 is going to be the same. The interest income is going to be 8%. So 8% multiplied by the previous year's carrying value. Remember not to multiply it by the, the first row, but by the previous year's carrying value. So by 84,029. And that's going to give you $6,722.33. And then the difference between that and the 4,000 will be $2,722.33. Carrying value will be $86,751.49. And I'm just going to continue to trailblaze through this and say the 31st of December 2017, 8% of the previous carrying value is going to be 6,940 and 12, and the difference between that and the 4,000 is going to be 2,940,12, and, and the carrying value will be $89,691 and 61 cents and you are going to start noticing that this is very repetitive <laughs> so um after a few of these you start to really get the hang of it and it doesn't become as complicated uh, next one the interest is seventy one hundred seventy five dollars and thirty three cents and then the difference once again is three thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars and thirty three cents and then we add that to the carrying value and we're getting ninety two thousand eight hundred and sixty six dollars and ninety four cents so that's what the note receivable asset is worth at the end of 2018 and we got two more years to go let's do this we got it uh eight percent once again, of the previous year's carrying value is going to be seventy-four hundred and twenty-nine and thirty-six cents, and the amount of the discounts going to be amortized is the difference between that and the four thousand, which is three thousand four hundred and twenty-nine and thirty-six cents, and the carrying value is going to be ninety-six thousand two hundred and ninety-six point thirty. And you might start to realize what the carrying value will be at the end for 2020. 8% of the previous year's carrying value is going to be 7703 That kind of looks like a 9, but it's supposed to be a 7. And 70 cents. And 3703.70 for the discount that is amortized. And added to the carrying value, we got $100,000. Bam, right on the money. We got it. So that is how we are going to amortize this note. And that is your complete amortization table completely done. Uh, oh, I actually forgot to say something, but what we used, or the multiplying the market rate by the carrying value and finding out the interest for each of these years is known as the effective interest method. I should probably write that down right here for you guys. Effective interest method. Perfect. I think this tutorial, how much do we have left? Uh, we've got just a little bit left. Okay, I think we can, I think we can kind of do a couple journal entries. I'm actually just going to bring these layers that I have up at the top. I'd rather not make a second tutorial because I've been making a lot of split tutorials as of lately. So we've got our three buttons right here. Let's start recognizing these entries. So the first one is we need to recognize the note. And that is simply just the, the present value of the cash flows uh, for 
the note. And up at the top, we know that it is 81,508 and cents. I'm gonna completely forget about the pennies though. And we're going to debit note receivable because we're creating that asset. And we're going to credit cash. And it's gonna be for 81,000, 81,000, what was it again? 508 or something? 508, yes. 81,500 and eight. 81,508. So that is to issue the note and then we have to have an adjustment. So we're going to adjust for the interest that we've earned. And I'm actually gonna get rid of that for right now. Uh, we need to show that we're receiving uh, well, we're not receiving cash just yet because this we're gonna say that this is Where is it the actually? No, no, we are gonna say that we're recognizing cash because the interest payments are in cash so cash will be debited for four thousand dollars and We know that the interest income if we look up we can see that the interest income is 6520 for that for that one year. So we're gonna say interest income, or it can be interest revenue, interest income. What was it again, 6520? My memory is pretty hazy today. 6520, I've been doing these for too long. And the difference between the interest income and the cash is the amortized discount. And that is going to be capitalized to our note receivable accounts because we need to increase the carrying value year after year and that's just going to be the difference which is 2520 so we're going to have six of these adjustments and you're going to prepare them just like that but you're going to adjust the the discount that is amortized and the interest income based on wherever we are on this amortization schedule and then at the end, after all of the adjustments and the carrying value is now at 100,000, we can finally, finally, finally de-recognize this note and get her off our books. And we're gonna do that by just saying, well, now the note receivable is on our balance sheet at $100,000. So we can de-recognize that note and we can say note receivable is being credited for $100,000 and cash is being returned to us. The principal is being returned to us, which is $100,000. There you have it. Amortization schedule, theory, journal entries, bam, done. See you guys next time.